Welcome to prom me some mastery, mastery, mastery. Hello, welcome to prom mixing a mastering. Um, today I've got a very uh, good tutorial for you guys, and this is how to um, control an off key vocal in Cubase Five using pitch. So all you have to do. Uh, the first thing that you have to do is open up your Cubase 5. Uh, I've got mine already opened up. And then um, let's say, let me load up something so that I can record something. Yeah. So let's say you've recorded uh, this singer, but the voice is really off. The singer is, have you ever recorded a bad singer? Like, really the vocal is not um in the right key the vocal is out of the key and everything about the singing is not good this right here the pitch that i'm about to show you what i'm about to show you can do the work to about um 90 eight percent by controlling the vocal the off key vocal into the right key no matter how bad the singer is this is able to all right without wasting much time let, let me show you what i mean so let's say you've got a bad singer i'm, I'm gonna sing something and uh let me just sing something welcome to prom me some mastery, mastery, mastery. All right, bad vocal, and you've got a bad singer who just came to your studio and uh, they just recorded that. And you're trying to figure out how you are going to uh work and treat the vocal and you, you you can't say no because the singer has already paid you've already used the money so it's your work as an engineer as a, a producer as a mixer to work on the vocal to treat the vocal and just uh, try the best that you can do too uh, most of these uh singers sing off and uh, even professional singers, there are times where they like go off a little bit. So pitch really works well, especially in Cubase 5. So what you do is, um, uh, let's listen to, to, to this vocal that I, I just recorded. Um, Welcome to prom me some mastery, mastery, mastery. All right. Uh, let's say maybe uh, this 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 is the bad singing, and uh, so what you do is um, left click on the on the vocal, just uh, double click uh, by left clicking and like this, and then this will open up this window. Open up. As you can see, there is nothing here. You can't change anything here. So what you do is uh, there is this uh, there is this very audio on on your left side. This very audio. Just click on this pitching activity active. I mean activate the pitching before and after. So it it, it was like this. Yeah, just like that. Now. In case it opens like this, what you have to do is just go on a very audio. Most of the times it comes like this. So what you do is come here where where it is written very audio and click there. And then this will open up uh, pitch and warp segments, uh, MIDI input, uh, pitch, quantize, straighten pitch. I I'm going to explain what all these mean. Research functions, hit, uh, hit points, range, process. Now when uh after uh, uh left clicking and double clicking by left clicking and this opens up then you 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 you, you, you your audio will be like this all you've got to do is um 
come to pitching pitching active click it then this will show up this window will show up now where you have to go is on this uh repeat and warp segments click on it uh left click click on it like this yeah these little uh uh vocal uh vocals will, will, will show up like this all these things these are vocals which are uh, out of uh, out of key and let's say um the singer went off around this area around this area here right here i'm gonna play it listen to this welcome welcome let's say ah, ah, ah. this wasn't in the right key it's in in c in c sharp let's say this wasn't in the right key it's supposed to be in f or in g so <laughs> or in g sharp so listen to it welcome welcome or let's say um it's not supposed to be in g it was supposed to be well come so, c sharp c four sharp welcome yeah welcome welcome yeah something like that welcome let's say maybe uh this is not supposed to be in that key it's supposed to be maybe in uh welcome something like that <laughs> so let's say it was supposed to move from that c sharp uh four to 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 e then welcome welcome so you, you can control off uh vocals using these uh powerful uh pitch and warp uh uh very audio you you can control any vocal no matter how and, and the good thing about this one is uh is this you can actually auto tune from here by um by stretching the vocals a little bit well, let's well. say let, let's say the the vocal this the vocal well, welcome welcome let's say this is uh is you you want you you want auto tune to to your vocal so to to all to all your vocals all you have to do is select control and a and then go to to straighten pitch straighten pitch you straighten the voice a little bit and for 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 it to for the vocal for the vocal to have that uh, auto tune effect and this one is even much better than auto tune i think so look at what so what you have to do is just pull it up pull it up and just keep increasing it and listen to it now welcome to promise a mastery so let's say we put it up to we pull i pull it to somewhere there welcome to promise now it's robotic mastery so you can do uh auto tune you can tune it up in here let's take it uh, to completely the last welcome to promise a mastery 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 all right um so i'm gonna take it back so uh you, you can also do some uh um auto tuning you can do some auto tuning right here in um in pitch and uh also control three, those vocals three. which are not uh in the right key me some mastery master let's say this one you wanted it to be maybe yeah. <laughs> Mastery, mastery, 
Ray. So you, you can uh yeah so this is how the professionals do it um they will not show you in the background but they do a lot of uh pitch correction um on their singers on professional singers and they use this to bring back the singer into the right key and uh just you, you can also make the singer sing according to the way you want them to sing by using uh pitch in cubase r5 now there is this uh um quantize or let, let's say um the singer you, you 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 want to also extend their singing you you can extend their singing uh by by doing this just uh grab onto the end of the 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 vocal and then just stretch it so that prom prom you see you can also shorten it me. you can extend it let's say the singer didn't uh run out of breath and they didn't um uh, prolong their um ending you can do this in pitch correction by just extending the vocal and then to be extended and let's say um you want to quantize quantize actually basically works as uh, to bring the vocals into the right key you want to do it automatically you don't want to do it one by one although i recommend i recommend one by one quantize really works but uh, there are just some some vocals which don't really get quantized to the way you want them to be quantized so you 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 can you, you can work on those manually so all you have to do is select control and a and then come on quantize and start pulling it see what is happening to the vocals yeah so quantize puts them in the right uh, key unquantize quantize i showed you what this uh does straight in pitch it gives uh the vocal that uh auto tune effect segment is uh when you want to cut uh a vocal you just want to cut it and just try to oh. to uh make sure after cutting you have to go back to pitch and warp so oh. you can move it oh if you don't go to pitch and warp it's not gonna move so let's oh, say you want to to make that into welcome two. so you, you can play around with the effect and how you want it to be so basically this is where you do the control of your vocal and once you are done just come uh to your right side and close and your vocal will be exactly how you had worked on it in very audio and pitch correction welcome to promise a mastery, <laughs> mastery, mastery. Let's say you don't like what you've done and uh, you just want to, you just wanna um, go back to the original. You can still do that. Just um, control A, select everything, and then go to reset pitch, uh, reset uh, pitch changes in right there then if you had some warp changes as well you warping is when you extend this when you do this when you do this yeah that's warping so let's say you want to reset reset just reset everything pitch and warp and then from there uh your vocal is gonna go back to normal let me play it for you welcome to promise a mastery, mastery, mastery. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, just just uh, help me by subscribing to my channel and also leave me a like. I'll be more than glad to help you. Mm -hmm.